I thought this was a really interesting uh, topic on using hydrogen peroxide to harvest. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is something that will evaporate into water. It can uh, kill your bugs and also take care of uh, microbials. We, I think it was really important to record this process because Jose actually sprayed six uh, 6%, or I'm, I'm going to let him talk about it, but and I'm going to be going through the pictures because I think you want to see, it. D- did it damage the plants? I think that's the most important thing. How strong can you go until it damages the plants and, and, and kill the bugs or and find that nice ratio? Show. So, Jose, will you talk a little bit about your experiments while I flip through the sure, pictures? Sure, sure. Uh... To redirect yeah. the conversation a little bit back, the reason why I wanted to kind of share this experience with you was because we want to use hydrogen peroxide, just to kind of explain to her, we want to use hydrogen peroxide for possible any microbial issues and also uh, to kill this, any bugs or spider mites uh, and go into a chop down and go into a dry harvest. And everyone can, everyone makes it, can make a decision to go to wet, to dry, whatever, but um and there's different reasoning behind it too. Is like if you don't have a full crew to be able to manage a wet harvest. These techniques are used all the way up into 500 acre grows. And and I'm showing you even 500 acre grows, this is how they're harvesting all their product and storing it. This is how they store it. And this is how I recommend it. Like this is the, like at the end of the day, this technique for large industrial growing for, um, for for our 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 product basically is like they they under they understand how to protect their flower and then how to make sure it stays to the highest level of integrity until it gets all the way down to a pound and to, then to the consumer. This is on the highest level for industrial production. They care about the integrity. You know, you you see how they're doing it, hanging a string, hanging it upside down, right? Because these farmers are systematically incorporating processes in their drying techniques to keep that thought process that, that you get a higher, higher quality production. Don't overdo it. Oh, there's one more. Pro- there's one product, guys. Again, I'm going to throw out this um, Am- Amazon sheet, but I am pushing them because I spent Buck loads of money on a lot of equipment. I should not have bought money uh, like after it either degraded, destroyed it. I got videos. I'm, I mean, I got more shit that you could like video evidence of all this shit. Just never. I wish to God I never used it. There's one product and I highly, highly, highly recommend. The reason why I'm recommending people not to flush anymore is because over the years of getting in uh, the four years of uh, extraction side that I was getting into more on the the R&D, the testing, all this stuff. One of the observations I made was that there was more chlorophyll that was coming out of the initial extraction 